In football news now, the Reggae Boys finished top of Group B of the CONCACAF Nations League A after their nil-all draw with Honduras at the National Stadium. As you'll hear in this report, head coach Steve McLaren has lauded certain aspects of the setup as he looks towards the quarterfinals. The thousands of fans who gathered at the National Stadium, a.k.a. The Office, were all expecting the Reggae Boys to end the first round of the Nations League with a win. But the Reggae Boys who went into the game needing a point to progress seemed sluggish in the first half with Honduras pulling the strings, albeit lacking the finishing touch. It didn't go unnoticed by head coach Steve McLaren who rang the changes for the second. Um, I wasn't pleased with the tempo in the first half, it was too slow um, and therefore Honduras could get behind the ball. Uh, they waited for mistakes, we made mistakes. Um, so we wanted to inject more tempo and yeah, I think we did. With substitutes such as Ronaldo Cifas and Kaim Dixon being introduced into the game, more chances were created. But like the Hondurans, the Jamaicans couldn't convert as the game ended nil all. McLaren says their game plan was thwarted as the Hondurans made it challenging. I think it was difficult to, um, we wanted to build and, and go through the middle. I think it was difficult to do that. So therefore we had to rethink and go around the opponent, which is why um, we put the wingers on Kahim and Sifas. And Defensively, the Jamaicans were the best in the group, conceding only once in their 2-1 win in Honduras, while having three clean sheets in four games. And that's something which made coach McLaren proud. Um, I'm delighted. It's the foundation, it's the base. And you can't get away from that. Um, you know, I thought um, Latte at the side of me, um, in front of the back four, dropping in as a three, uh, using that intelligence, uh, very tactical. Ethan Pinnock and, uh, and Holgate came in, Damian Lowe. You know, we, we made mistakes, they hit us on the break. Ethan and, and Mason defended the goal well, supported by Latte. He also looks ahead to the quarterfinals in November against Panama. And now we need to free the mind a little bit. It's knockout. Um, Latty summed it up. You know, I, I wanted desperately to get into the knockout stage. So we've done it. Credit to the players. We've achieved that. And now we really look forward to the draw and who we get and to, uh, to go up, as you say, against uh, the top teams in CONCACAF. Honduras has also qualified for the quarterfinals after finishing second in the group, ending on seven points. Christopher Scott... TVJ Sports.